My name is Megan McBride. I work with a program called Alaska Youth for Environmental Action. So I work with high school students all across Alaska who are interested in environmental issues and want to learn what they can do to really make a difference on these issues. Uh, there's a few reasons why I try to purchase locally grown food. One, um, I really believe that the more sustainable, like self-sustainable, self-sufficient Alaska can be, the better. So um, I really want to support our local Alaska farmers and gardeners um, so that they can have viable businesses. Foods that are locally grown are just better. I mean, that's the main reason I do it. I just think, you know, when you look at produce that's been shipped from far away, it doesn't look as good as the stuff that's grown locally. And it's fun to drive by farms in the valley and say, ah, oh, my food came from there. And I also am concerned about climate change. And I know that the further away my food comes from, the bigger carbon footprint the transportation of that food has. Um, and oftentimes food grown further away also has a lot more chemicals involved in the growing of the food. Um, because it's colder in Alaska, we don't have as many pests. And so um, even if farmers aren't certified organic, they generally don't use as many chemicals. Um, and those chemical fertilizers and pesticides um, also have a lot of petroleum and big carbon footprint in them. Well, my name is Katie Ward. Um, it's crazy the amount of effort that it takes to get food up here. It's no longer just the amount of water or the amount of time that it takes to grow the food, but it's the transportation, it's the fuel, it's so much that it gets it up here. You're knocking out two birds with one stone if you just purchase locally grown food. Probably one of my biggest reasons why I got involved in the movement of environmental advocacy is because I grew up in Ohio, in Ohio, and my family worked on getting local foods into the school system. It was ridiculous that we were being fed from these outside companies and that we were paying tens of thousands of dollars for these companies to supply us with disgusting food. Um, I don't think I ever bought a school lunch because my mom hated it so much. Um, but she started a program within our local school district to get the farmers, which was my parents, supplying them. But then it's also this idea of the nutrients that you get from food that is closer to you. The sooner you're able to eat a product from when it's picked or right after it's harvested, it's going to be a higher nutritional value than compared to something far, far away. I think foods that are grown locally have an element of relationship to them that you miss when you buy from factory farm foods. To me, community sustainability is about uh, building and living in a place that will be here when I'm gone. So in Alaska in particular, I think local food is a really powerful way of voting with your dollar. Um, local sustainability means caring about your backyard to me. I mean, it means like anything from recreating and going and using the amazing trails in our Anchorage to taking the time to ride your bike and figure that out as opposed to drive. Um, and I don't think I think a lot of times people frame sustainability as something that you do that um, is a very selfless act, but in fact I think sustainability can be a very selfish act, and that it's much more enjoyable to like ride your bike or get outside than it is to get in your car and be hating on traffic and miserable. And I also just like uh, going to the farmer's market. <laughs> it's fun, it feels like I'm a part of my community. I think that local food is fresher and, and tastes better, so those are a few different reasons. How about you? You can find food grown near you if you look in the right places. Farmers markets are one of the best places to start. Small local farms can't compete with these large agricultural companies who cut corners. These agro companies cut corners by adding artificial chemicals and pesticides. These companies are environmentally irresponsible because they add these chemicals, then ship this processed food thousands of miles. Many family-run farms are being lost because they don't have enough consistent customers. Since food grown here in Alaska rarely needs pesticides and doesn't need to be shipped as far to reach local customers, we should all think locally by purchasing from local farmers' markets.